hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how to make this beautiful hat for um a cut so i received this order for rescue cuts from a client of mine so i decided to give it a try definitely and also to record for you a tutorial so i've never done this this is my very first time but i'm actually pleased with how this came out and this was my first time to use a pom-pom maker so um i'm going to be breaking this video into two parts the first part will show you how to make um the pom-poms using the pom-pom maker i'll be leaving the link of that video um down in the description box and then in this video we are going to actually make the structure of the actual hat uh if you guys would like the written pattern it's already up on my etsy shop and on my coffee shop so if you're more interested in the written pattern just click on the link on the screen or check the link down below in the description box so that you get a copy of uh, the written pattern now um, the materials that you'll need are a crochet hook of five millimeters and then a pair of scissors the pom-pom maker is not for this video but this is key because we need to have the pom-poms part of the hat and then you also need yarn for the yarn i'm using two colors i'm using the red and the white and the red is uh, winter king it's a four play acrylic yarn then for the white i just used two strands of robin to make it a little bit thicker because this is a fingering weight yarn so i doubled it to work the brim of the hat and then um i used the same exact yarn to make the pom-pom so let's get started so the first version that i made is the short version i don't know which one my client will like but i'll give her both options she ordered for two so i'm going to make two of these and then i give her an option for this as well so um this is just a simple disclaimer the photo on the thumbnail is not my original photo it's the photo that was sent to me by the client so um, let's get started i'll be showing you how to make this one that looks exactly like the one in the photo on the thumbnail all right so to start off your project you're going to start with a magic ring you're going to yarn your yarn around your two fingers and make an x here grab your hook and pull on the working yarn this is the tail remember this one here is the tail and it ends here that means the one here is the working yarn that's connected to the yarn ball so you're going to insert your hook and then grab the working yarn and hold remove your fingers and then you're going to chain one to close off the magic ring and now we are going to place a total of eight half double crochets into the same exact ring so yarn over insert your hook into the ring pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three loops let's do that again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all so we are going to do that until we have a total of eight half double crochets this is the third fourth fifth sixth seventh and then this is the eighth and the moment you're done with your eighth half double crochet you're going to pull on the tail to close up the magic ring or the magic circle make sure you pull it tight so that the ring can close up and then you're going to insert your hook into the very first half double crochet that we made with and you're going to make a slip stitch so just insert your hook pull through and then pull through this loop here and that marks the end of round one you'll have a total of eight half double crochets round two you're going to chain two and for this project the chain two counts as a double crochet so we have one double crochet here you're going to go into 
each and every stitch with one double crochet so for a double crochet you're going to yarn over remember this um, chain 2 is attached to the very first stitch and we want a total of only one double crochet into each and every stitch that means you're going to go into the next double crochet pull up a loop you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's a double crochet and then you're going to go into the next stitch with a double crochet and then double crochet into the next 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 and double crochet into the last stitch so at the end of this round you should be having a total of eight double crochets including the chain two that was at the beginning of the round so after this you're going to go on top of the chain two into the top chain and you're going to create a slip stitch on top of the chain two so the total for this round should be eight double crochets make sure you cross check your work if you're not sure what you did so you have one two three four five six seven and eight so the moment you're done with that you are going to chain two which counts as a double crochet go into the same exact stitch with one double crochet so the very first stitch where you place the slip stitch that's where you're going to place this double crochet so that means the very first stitch has two stitches in it so you're going to go into the next stitch with a total of two double crochets two double crochets into the next and repeat that all the way around Alright, so since round two had a total of eight double crochets, round three is going to have a total of 16 double crochets because we have placed two double crochets into each and every stitch from the previous round. So the moment you're done with this, cross check if you have 16 double crochets and then you're going to go on top of the second chain of the chain two and make a slip stitch. And then we're going on to round four for round four you're going to make a chain of two and then go into each of the next 15 stitches with one double crochet into each stitch so chain two counts as a double crochet so go into each of the next 15 with only one double crochet So since the chain two at the beginning of the round counted as one double crochet, uh, that means round three is going to have, sorry, round four is going to have a total of um, 16 double crochets. So let's go on to round five. You're going to chain two, which counts as a double crochet. All right, after a chain of two, you're going to go into the next stitch with two double crochets. And then one double crochet into the next, and then two double crochets into the next. One double crochet into the next, two double crochets into the next. And that's the sequence for round five. One, and then two in the next and repeat that all the way around until you come back to the beginning of your round So 
so we are almost coming to the end of our round and we have two stitches left you should make sure that you end your round with two double crochets into the very last stitch of the round and then from here you're going to go on top of the chain two at the beginning of your round and make a slip stitch so round five you should end with a total of 24 stitches then you're going to make a chain of two this is round six and you're going to go into each of the next 23 stitches with one double crochet into each so just go into each and every stitch with only one double crochet and that means round six is also going to have a total of 24 double crochets or 24 stitches So we are at the end of our round six and we are placing one slip stitch into the very first chain two of the round. So let's go on to round seven. Round seven you're going to chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the next. Let's do that again. One double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next and then two double crochets into the next and that's the repeat for round seven let's do that one one two repeat that all the way around one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next and then two double crochets into the next So we are almost coming to the end of the round and we have three stitches left so that means I do one in the next one in the next and you should make sure that the very last stitch gets a total of two double crochets so that marks the end of round seven you're going to make a slip stitch into the very first chain two of the round round eight is going to be chain two and then one double crochet all the way around so round seven you should be having a total of 32 double crochets all together so round eight you're going to just go into each and every stitch with one double crochet and that means we should also be having a total of 32 double crochets into uh, round eight
all right so we've come to the end of round eight and i'm placing a slip stitch into the very first chain two of the round round nine is still going to be an increase round so we are alternating between increase rounds and non-increase rounds so round nine you're going to make a chain of two and then one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next that will give you a total of three double crochets because the chain two counts as a double crochet and then two double crochets into the next let's do that again one double crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two double crochets into the next so one 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 two that's the sequence for round nine so go all the way around and i'll meet you back at the end of the round So I've come to the end of round nine and I've placed a slip stitch into the top chain of the chain two at the beginning of the round. So round 10, you're going to make a chain of two. Round nine should have a total of 40 um, double crochets altogether. So round 10, you're going to make a chain of two and go into each of the next 39 stitches with one double crochet. So meaning, Round 10 should have a total of 40 double crochets as well. So go all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning here. So we are coming to the end of round 10 and we are making a slip stitch into the top of the chain two at the beginning of the round. Now round 11 is going to be the same exact as round 10, meaning we should expect a total of 40 stitches all the way around. So chain two and go into each and every stitch with one double crochet so that you get a total of 40 stitches just like the previous round. All right, so after round 11, you should be having something that looks like this. You can see the cone shape. So round 12 is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be uh, creating the openings for the ears of the cut. Now you're going to make a chain of two, which counts as a double crochet, and then one double crochet in each of the next six stitches. So there's two, three, four five and six so that means we have a total of seven double crochets including the chain two at the beginning of the round and then from here you're going to make a chain of ten and then you are going to skip six stitches so one two three four five and six and then into the next you're going to place one double crochet and then one double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and that means we have a total of 14 stitches all together from this chain we have a total of 14 stitches so from here you're going to make a chain of 10 Make sure your chains are not very tight because we are going to work into them when we come back for the next round. So you're going to skip six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and into the next stitch, you're going to place one double crochet. 
and then you're going to go ahead and place one double crochet in each of the next six stitches so that should bring you to the end of the round we have seven stitches on this side as you can see one two three four five six seven before we slip stitch and then we also have seven stitches on this side one two three four five six and seven and that makes a total of 14 double crochets all together just like we had here on this other side so you're going to go on top of the chain two and place one slip stitch and this is what your heart should look like now round um, 13 you're going to make a chain of two and you're going to go into each and every um, double crochet with a double crochet and then into each and every chain with one double crochet as well and we should expect a total make sure you don't miss any um any chain or any double crochet so we should expect a total of 48 double crochets all together for round 13. go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back at the end of the round All right, so we've made it to the end of round 13 and you should be having a total of 48 double crochets all the way around. And at this point, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. This is the point where we're going to switch to our color for the brim, which is white. So you're going to pull through and then leave that. So at this point, this is what you should have. Now you're going to get your white color. As I told you earlier on, I'm going to use two strands of my white color because it's very thin and I want to, I want it to match the thickness of the first color that I made. The other alternative is to use the same exact brand, but I don't like the white of this brand. It's more of like off-white as compared to this pure white. So I'm going to make a slip knot and attach my yarn into the slip stitch into the stitch that got the slip stitch of the round all right so you're going to make a chain of two first attach attach your yarn with a chain and make sure it's secure enough make a chain of two and you're going to go all the way around with one front post double crochet into each and every stitch. So to do a front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, but we are going to go around the post. So go in and then grab that stitch from the back so that it pops onto the front. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through too yarn over pull through two like a normal double crochet so let's do that again yarn over go down and then pop the stitch onto the front of the hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's a front post double crochet you're going to continue to do a front post double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around so you will have a total of 48 front post double crochets for round 14.
So go all the way around. I'll meet you back at the beginning of my round here. All right, so we've come to the end of our round and we are going to place one slip stitch into the top of the chain two at the beginning of the round. And then you're going to chain two and we're going to repeat this same exact round. One front post double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around. So um, I made a mistake. For the previous round, you'll have a total of 47 front post double crochets because we don't, um, we don't work a front post double crochet into the chain two, which counts as the very first stitch of the round. So uh, we're going to just repeat this front post double crochet into each and every stitch all the way around until you make it to the beginning and we are going to do that one more time so after this round you're going to repeat this same exact process one more time so that you have a total of three rounds of white and of uh, front post half front post double crochets and um, from there I'll show you what to do next All right, guys, so this is what you'll have after round um, 16. I've chained one and cut my yarn at this point, and this is the general structure of the hat. And of course, when it rests on the head of the cut, this is going to just fall over, just like I showed you um, in the thumbnail. So you're going to go back to your color A, and you're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to make a chain of 30. So just like this, uh, you can make this as long as you want or as short as you want. And now we're going to attach it along the middle line of the ear. So just place your work like this and just get any stitch along the middle line or on the side and make a slip stitch there. Just pass your loop through and then chain one. And you're going to go back on each and every chain with either a slip stitch or a single crochet. So I think I'll make a single crochet or sorry, a slip stitch instead of a single crochet. For my first sample, I used single crochet and um, the strap ended up a little big, thicker than I thought it would be. So I think for this one, let me just use a slip stitch so that I get a thinner strand. So go into each and every chain, placing one slip stitch or single crochet, depending on the stitch that you chose to use. All right, so when you make it to the end of the chain, this is what you'll have. And after this, you are going to chain one and cut your yarn, leaving a strand behind. Pull through. And this is what you'll have. We shall deal with these later on, don't cut them as yet. And you're going to do the same exact thing on this side. So let me go ahead and do that. 
make a chain of 30 So once the straps are done, the side straps, it's now time for us to attach our pom-poms. So I already have one pom-pom here. For a perfect pom-pom, I recommend a pom-pom maker. If you don't have one, make sure you purchase one for your work. Or you can also watch my video of how to make um, a pom-pom with your bare hands i'll be leaving the link on the screen for you guys so um we have these strings i'm going to just attach it at the very top of the hat so i'm just pulling through these strings that i've left behind And then you're going to grab those strings on the wrong side like this these are the strings that have pulled through and you're going to make a very tight knot on the inside make it very tight and then you can tie the white to the red because we left a tail behind and then the red to the second white tail that way we know that the work is very secure and the pom-pom is not about to fall off after that you're going to cut your yarn and let's see what we have on the outside um this is how the pom-pom looks like now you're going to go ahead and make another pom-pom and another one so that you have a total of three for one hat just like we have for this version and you're going to attach them on the ends of the strands here. And that's basically it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, let me know in the comment section how you found this video and I'll see you in my next one bye